this is going to be the bedroom. to another video. Today I'm going to show you the whole transformation of this bedroom. So as you know we renovated this whole flat in the summer and now finally things are starting to come together. I want to do a whole flat tour or apartment tour but because what a surprise it's taking a little longer than expected which that has probably never happened when somebody has been renovating a flat. <laughs> so the kitchen still isn't quite done. And also there are some bits and pieces, but the bedroom is pretty much um, done or it, it looks really nice, I think. So I'm gonna show you that. I'm also super excited because today I get to hang up some paintings on the wall or these posters that I've ordered online from Decenio, who's also sponsoring this video. And if you've been living uh, in a rental, you understand what a luxury it is to be able to actually put stuff up on the wall. The last four or five years where I've lived in flats, I've really not put up stuff on the walls or maybe only with like washi tape and stuff, but it's not really the same. So I'm really looking forward to this and seeing also how it's gonna look in this room. Um, but let's go back to the humble beginning of it all. So this room was actually used as a library or a study when my grandmother lived here, but we chose to make this into our bedroom because it has the nicest light. And also then when you're in the living room and seeing to get the couch, you can have the doors open and you'll see this nice bed and the room just becomes bigger. So we decided to make this the kind of master bedroom. The floors in this room, um, it was from the 60s, I think, this kind of plasticky, quite dark, um, not very charming floor. So we've replaced all of that. Um, and then also this flat, it's not so high to the ceiling, so it tends to get a little dark. And there was a lot of wear and tear on the walls, but all that we painted just with white to get it to look more fresh and just also to get it to be more bright and airy. And well, that was maybe one of my main concerns uh, when moving here, because I was really concerned that it wouldn't be enough light for me to film and do my videos and photos. And well, now it is December, so it is just dark wherever you are in Finland or um, in the Nordic countries right now. Um, but it definitely helped a lot. The bed is basically just from Ikea and we got a bed with the tallest possible legs. So it almost feels like a hotel bed, which I kind of like. It's a little bit luxurious and especially after sleeping on the floor on a mattress for mm, many weeks, uh, it really feels uh, nice and cozy to climb up there. And then I have some blankets and this one I did it myself. It's like a really chunky one and a lot of pillows, which every evening I feel like, why do I have so many pillows where you have to put them all on the floor? <laughs> but then in the morning it again feels nice when you just pile them all together. And I do feel like having cozy textiles is so important to just make it feel more homey and cozy. And this is a bed that I really also sometimes in the middle of the day just go and hang out on because I just feel like it's a really nice place where you want to be. The good thing about living in a flat or an old flat is that there's a lot of inbuilt storage. So here there's this cupboard, which at the moment um, is not really being used to its uh, full potential. So there's just like some random stuff in here, but I think we're gonna use it like as a cleaning uh, closet and maybe here like have some duvets and stuff like sheets and things. Um, but yeah, it's still a little bit of a work in progress, uh, I would say. And over here, uh, you might have seen this in some previous videos already, is a little do-it-yourself uh, clothes rack. And this is a project that I've seen on Pinterest and pinned like years ago. And oh, it feels so uh, satisfying to actually uh, have something that was this simple to make, which I think looks really nice. So basically it's just, uh, we drilled a hole in the ceiling and put a little hook there. And then I have this kind of natural dyed a white thread and this twig that we just literally found in the woods nearby. Um, and right now I have my merch, so my own t-shirts hanging here on display. I think it's just nice to have them all here. 
Um, probably not gonna have them here forever and maybe in the summer I'm gonna have like my favorite summer dresses or something here instead. So yeah, I think it, it adds a little nice touch to this room. All right, next up, we're gonna put the paintings on the wall here and gonna transform this just plain wall into a beautiful photo collage montage. I don't know what to call it. Well, I went to Pinterest and looked at a lot of inspiration and then I went into Desenio, who is also, I partnered up for, with, I partnered up with for this video so if you'd like to get some posters of your own you can use the code kika35 to get 35 percent off of all posters um, it's excluding frames handpicked and personal but on all posters you'll get 35 percent off with the code kika35 and i tried to go with a color palette that i thought would suit this room and kind of because i already have some kind of well it's all pretty neutral with some pinks and yellows and really kind of warm tones. Um, so I chose some more graphic prints and then this one blue with this huge, uh, I guess this is like a moon. Um, so something that had a little bit more color, but otherwise I stuck to a pretty neutral color palette to kind of be on the safe side. But I thought that was quite of an eclectic and nice little mix. Um, and I think the way I'm gonna do it is I'm first gonna place them all on the floor and just see how they would look together. And then I'm gonna try to transfer that onto the wall and hopefully it's gonna work out. I've never done this before, but how hard can it be? Let's see. is how the wall turned out. I am so pleased with it. So yesterday, uh, I'm gonna come a little closer. Yesterday uh, I was still thinking about it and oh, it took a long time to just figure out how it would look the best because it feels like a very big and important decision. Um, but I feel like the surprising thing, the room feels more spacious and bigger actually when putting these on the wall and it makes like such a huge, huge difference. Uh, so I'm really happy with how it turned out. And um, even though there's still quite a lot of unfinished stuff in the rest of the flat, at least the bedroom feels like a serene haven <laughs> to be in. And I like to keep the bedroom pretty simple and not have too much stuff in there. Um, so I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. And especially now it's so dark and spending a lot of time indoors. Uh, so it just feels really nice to have put that time and effort into making it really homey and cozy and feel really good in here. I also think the prints look so nice together on the wall. And if you'd like your own, you can use the code KIKA35 and go to desenio.com to click your own little prints home. Uh, the code is valid until the 6th of January. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Come and say hi. I'm over at Kutova Kika on Instagram. Um, and yeah, I hope you're enjoying this holiday season and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. There's a bee in my bonnet. Hello, hello. A bee in my bonnet. Hello. There's a bee in my bonnet. Hello, hello. A bee in my bonnet. Hello.